Hello everyone, it's good to see you again. It's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's article. The title of today's article says Police Robots in China. So we're seeing a lot of news surrounding the country of China and this one is talking about a new technology. So let's take a look at what it is. It says an international airport in southern China has taken high tech to another level by deploying a police robot. So here we know international means all over the world, different countries. So it's an airport that has airplanes going all over the world and it's located in southern China, the bottom of China, has taken high tech to another level by deploying a police robot. So you know uh, deploying means using or sending out. So this airport in China, southern China, is using a high-tech police robot. So as you can see in the picture, maybe that's what it looks like. I'm not sure if that's actually it. But it says Anbot is the country's first police robot to perform security checks and patrol the departure hall of Terminal 3 at Shenzhen International Airport. The Chinese newspaper People's Daily said on its homepage. So the Chinese newspaper People's Daily on their website, on their homepage, they said that they started using these robots in Terminal 3. And what does a robot do? It performs security checks. So security checks is making sure that everything is safe. So remember, if you ever go to the airport, we have to line up and make sure that you don't have anything harmful on you. You have to take out your keys and your wallet. Sometimes you take off your shoes, you go through the x-ray machine. Those are security checks. So the police robot is doing some of that. Right, so it's the first police robot and it's doing the security checks at Terminal 3 at Shenzhen International Airport. Debuting in September last year, the robot is 149 centimeters tall and weighs 78 kilograms with a touch screen on top and able to reach speeds of 18 kilometers per hour. So that's pretty impressive. So the robot is very small. Uh, but it's not that light and it has a touch screen on the top so it has a screen where you can touch kind of like a smartphone and you can reach speeds of 18 kilometers per hour and debuting means that's when it came out that was the first time it was used and that was September of last year um, Anbot also has the ability of face recognition using its four high definition cameras. So it can recognize people's faces because it has four high definition cameras. High definition means that it comes out very clear and that it has four of them so it can see your face and recognize your face. It has a memory. Uh, guided by staff in the control room, it can also answer simple questions on flight information, look for explosives, weapons and narcotics and even taser people. So. There's different functions, it has different capabilities, and some of it, it's controlled by people in a different room, in a call the control room, uh, and it can answer simple questions. So if I wanna know what time is the flight to Chicago, what time is the flight to London, then they can give me, uh, the Anbot the can give me information about that. It can also look for explosives, like bombs. Uh, it can look for weapons, like guns and knives. Narcotics means drugs. Uh, and in even taser people so it can shock people too if people are not behaving or people are breaking the law or acting dangerously. So there's different functions, there's different things that this Anbot can do. In addition, China also deployed on February 17th its first police robot at a railway station. So another uh, security robot in not the airport but at the railroad and that was uh, much more recent, a few months ago. The so-called e-patrol robot sheriff works at uh, Zhengzhou East Railway Station and has functions similar to Anbat's. So the one in the railroad station in Zhengzhou also uh, has similar capabilities that the Anbat does in the airport station um, as well as being able to do many different functions like help people, answer questions, and even uh, electrocute people, taser people. Yet this one can also monitor air quality and temperature and even set off the fire alarm. So the difference is the one at the, uh, at the train station, it can uh, take a look at the air quality. So for example, in Korea, we know that because of the dust, the air quality is not so good every day. And uh, the railroad stations, uh, the, the robot, police robot there can also check on the quality of the air, if it's clean or not. 
as well as temperature and if there's a fire if there's a fire they can also set off the alarm so there's different functions so in China instead of using real human police officers they're using uh, robots uh, to do the same job so we'll see if it's uh, gonna work better or maybe a human can do things that a robot cannot do but this is very interesting so we're seeing how China is using a lot of technology uh, to help uh, take care of those crowded areas like airports or railroads. So here we see a picture, that's probably the touch screen where you can see the different functions. So where does Anbot work? So we said a newer version works at the railroad, but the original Anbot works where? That's right, it works at uh, the airport in Shenzhen International Airport in China. Uh, let's look at the second question. How tall and how heavy is Anbot? We said uh, that the Anbot isn't really that tall, but we said it's not the lightest. And if you remember, it's 149 centimeters tall and say uh, 78 kilograms heavy. So it's kind of the size of maybe a large trash can. So it says here, when was China's first police robot deployed at a railway, railway station? So this is not the airport, but this is at uh, the train station. So remember we said deployed was being sent out or being used, and we said it was not too long ago on February 17th, a few months ago. So we can see that this robot uh, that is taking the place of police officers or helping the police officers in these crowded places is being used more and more. The final uh, three questions, let's fill in the blank. It says, an blank airport in South, southern China has taken high tech to another level by deploying a police robot. So what is in the blank? So it says, uh, countries that are all over the world, international, right? So an international airport, just like how we have in Korea, we have an international airport. Uh, they have an international airport in southern China and that's where they're using the police robots. Let's look at B. Anbot also has the ability of face recognition using, using its for what kind of camera? So we said it's very high quality. You can see it very clearly. So it's for high definition cameras. And the last one, this one can also monitor, this is talking about the newer robot at the railway station, can also monitor, monitor means it can uh, keep track, uh, make sure everything is safe, monitor air something and temperature and even set off the fire alarm. So what can it do? It can monitor air, that's right, how good, how clean it is, that's the quality. So we see the two different robots that are being used in China. One is being used at the airport and the other being used at the railway uh, station. So we'll, we'll see if Korea starts using or other countries like Japan or America are going to start using more high-tech robots to help the police officers, especially in crowded areas. So one of the differences, you know, that humans, we have our judgment. We can kind of tell if something is wrong or something isn't, but robots have other capabilities that they can set off alarms and they can also detect things. They can sense things. Uh, so maybe there's a good way that we can use both so that we can all be safer in these crowded areas. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's article. Pretty interesting, especially if you like high tech. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed today's article and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.